This is Tech Nick and welcome to one of the largest battery drain tests ever created. I have 10 Snapdragon 865 powered smartphones here with me and they are all seriously powerful. But power isn't everything, sometimes we need that battery life. We have 5000 milliamps on the Black Shark 3 Pro and on the S20 Ultra, 4700 on the Redmi K30 Pro Zoom Edition. 4510 on the OnePlus 8 Pro, 4500 on the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro, Red Magic 5G and iQOO Neo 3. 4260 on the Oppo Find X2 Pro, 4200 on the Realme X50 Pro with just 4000 on the Oppo Ace 2. Like I said, performance is not everything, especially when you have these incredible displays that chew up a ton of battery. We have AMOLED panels across the board here with the exception of the iQOO Neo rocking an LCD screen. We're going to leave all of them on max refresh rates but we're gonna drop the quad hd plus panel phones to full hd plus to keep things even guys this is technic and without further ado let's go we're gonna start here by checking out degrees in celsius i know what you guys are thinking there is a lot on the screen right now well at the top we have the current app running at the top left current leader in the middle over there of course nothing yet and the time interval on the top right hand corner with the timer just next to that the time interval is based on what you see percentage wise above the brandings of each phone and underneath the percentage that you can see near the top of the screen we do have the battery and cpu percentage after each timer over there at the bottom i have the spec sheet so feel free to hit pause anytime throughout the video and take a look at that and after just 30 minutes, we have 98% on the Black Shark 3 Pro. The best current leader at the moment is, funny enough, the smallest battery phone here, the Oppo Ace 2. Still 100% after 30 minutes. Honestly, cannot believe that, but it is the hottest when it comes to CPU. And we also have the Find X2 Pro, the other Oppo phone, also hot when it comes to CPU there. And the Oppo Find X2 Pro is also rocking the hottest battery at the moment, with the Samsung being the coolest CPU and the K30 Pro Zoom Edition being the coolest battery in degrees Celsius over there. We are rocking some Spotify right now and moving on to that one hour interval. As you guys can see, we still have the Oppo Ace 2 right at the top there with 96% as opposed to the others. And the one dropping the quickest there so far is the Oppo Find X2 Pro with 89%. The Red Magic 5G not far behind that with 90%. Now we're going to be shooting through to Shazam here with screen recording so that we can chew up some battery over here because many of you guys actually do use screen recording in order to share some things with your friends or maybe record a game so we're going to record while shazam is auto on right now after hitting an hour and 30 minute interval over here we have the current leaders tied with the k30 pro zoom edition and the oppo ace 2 at 90 percent with the lowest battery at the moment the red magic 5g with 82 percent it's very surprising since that phone has a bigger battery than the phones on the right hand side and i have actually structured the phones in order of battery capacity of the largest being all the way on the left and the smallest being all the way on the right but do remember that we do have very high refresh rate panels here. We have a 90 hertz refresh rate panel on the Black Shark 3 Pro, a 90 hertz panel on the Oppo Ace 2, on the Realme X50 Pro, and we also have the same 90 hertz panel on the Mi 10 Pro and Black Shark 3 Pro. We have a 120 hertz panel on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, and we have a 120 hertz panel on the Oppo Find X2 Pro and on the OnePlus 8 Pro. But you must remember that we have 144 hertz on the Red Magic 5G and the iQOO Neo 3, and the iQOO Neo 3 does have an LCD panel, which which chews up quite a bit more battery. AMOLED are slightly more efficient if you ask me. So far we're on that two hour and 20 minute mark, almost hitting that two hour and 30 minute checkpoint here with that time interval. We have 77% on the Black Shark 3 Pro, 72 on the Samsung, 83 on the K30, which is leading at the current moment with the Oppo Ace 2 slightly behind that at 80%, X50 Pro at 79%, 70% for the Find X2 Pro, 73% for the iQOO Neo 3, 69 the lowest for the Red Magic 5G, and 80% for the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro, which is actually doing really well on par with that of the Oppo Ace 2, though it does have 500 more milliamp hours. We're now running through Instagram over here with the current leader being the K30 Pro Zoom Edition. Now we are on that three hour checkpoint over here, 72 on the Black Shark. It's not doing too bad with that 5,000 milliamp hour battery, definitely better than the Samsung with its 67%. The highest being the K30 Pro Zoom Edition still with 79%, constantly staying the current leader. Not far behind though, we have the Oppo Ace 2 with 75%, though the Mi 10 Pro is actually doing better than the Oppo now with 76%. 
watching a few videos here on YouTube. If you guys have missed my recent detailed unboxing of the Oppo Ace 2 and OnePlus 8 Pro, be sure to check that out after the video. After three hours and 30 minutes, we have 75% still on the current leader, the K30 Pro, 71% on the Oppo Ace 2, we have 64% on the OnePlus 8 Pro, not too bad, 58% now on the Red Magic 5G, still being the lowest, but the Oppo Find X2 Pro is just 1% more than that of the Red Magic 5G at 59%. Coolest battery degrees in Celsius here is the Oppo Ace 2, and the coolest CPU is the S20 Ultra, with the hottest CPU being allocated to the Black Shark 3 Pro and hottest battery being allocated to the S20 Ultra. Four hours and we're still doing pretty well here. 72% on the K30 Pro is still the leader at the moment. 62% on the Black Shark, 57 on the Samsung, 59 on the OnePlus, 68 on the Xiaomi, 53 now on the Black on the Red Magic 5G, 58% on the iQ Neo 3, 55 on the Oppo Find X2 Pro, 67 on the Realme X50 Pro, and 67 on the Ace 2 trading blows with the X50 Pro over there. We're rocking a camera selfie video over here, 1080p 30 frames per second, since that is is the cap limit of most of them. Four hours, 30 minute interval over here. We have dropped below 50% for the Red Magic 5G, the S20 Ultra, and the Oppo Find X2 Pro. Many of them still above 50%. We have a couple still above 60%, with the highest being the K30 Pro at 66%. CPU is the coolest, still on the Samsung with 38 degrees over there. And the hotter CPU is currently on the Oppo Ace 2, with the coolest CPU being the, the X50 Pro, matching that of the S20 Ultra. We are rocking for 4K 30 frames per second video right now across all phones because many of them are capped at 30 frames per second. Five hour interval over here, 43% on the Black Shark, still have 58% on the K30 Pro Zoom Edition. But do remember we have a 60 hertz panel on the K30. It is the only one with such a low refresh rate panel. All of them are rocking higher refresh rate panels here with the highest being 144 hertz. I did recently do a poll on my channel asking you guys whether you would like to see high resolution and high refresh rate. You guys all said keep the resolution at 1080p but leave all the high refresh rate panels on because honestly if you're going to buy a phone with a high refresh rate panel such as many of these phones do have you're going to want to use that user experience it is all about the feeling and all about the smoothness of those displays so why not keep them on and that is why i'm bringing you guys a drain test with maxed out refresh rates on all of these phones but i do feel that many people will be happy just with full hd plus instead of qhd plus and that is why as i have limited it there after five hours and 30 minutes we have 50 percent on the k30 pro zoom edition the only one still above 50 percent over here all of them are getting very low 22 percent on the red magic 5g and 23 on the oppo find x2 pro after six hours we have 21 percent on the black shark we have seven percent on the red magic 5g looks like it's about a clock out there 24 percent on the ace 2 with the smallest battery i am really really impressed with that guys 50 percent on neither of them anymore they are all well below 50 percent 18 percent on the oneplus 8 pro trading blows with that of the s20 ultra which just has one percent more than that of the oneplus 8 pro moving on to flip diving over here it's a, another fun little game over here just to see what we land up with and after six hours and 26 minutes the red magic 5g knocks out over there its predecessor the red magic 3 actually did a better time with over eight hours over there but it did have a slightly bigger battery though i regard five hours of screen on time definitely great battery life so the red magic 5g with an internal fan inside of it and liquid cooling as well as touch triggers and 144 hertz 1080p amoled display did an absolutely stunning time of six hours and 26 minutes not long after though six hours and 42 minutes minutes we have the oppo find x2 pro knocking out with a 4260 milliamp hour battery smaller battery than that of the red magic 5g but it does have a lower refresh rate panel of 120 hertz i have matched the display brightness on all of these devices and so far we have 30 percent still current leader on the k30 pro zoom edition 12 percent for the oppo ace 2 all the way on the right hand side is not doing too bad for a tiny 4000 milliamp hour battery just seven percent and six percent on the black shark 3 pro and s20 ultra respectively that's a little bit disappointing with 5000 milliamp hour batteries though they do have the biggest screens on this table right here after seven hours and nine minutes the iq neo 3 knocks out there seven hours nine minutes not too bad it actually has the best score in milliamp hours per minute over there after seven hours and 16 minutes the s20 ultra knocks out it has the best percentage per minute over there but not necessarily the best milliamp hours per minute because it does have a much bigger battery than that of the iq neo 3 after 7 hours and 29 minutes, the OnePlus 8 Pro clocks out over there. 
Not too bad considering it has a smaller battery than the Samsung. Same refresh rate panel over there, but it does have a slightly smaller screen. So it is understandable that it is 13 minutes longer lasting than the S20 Ultra. It has the best milliamps per minute over there because of its 4,510 milliamp hour battery and 0.22% per minute. The Black Shark 3 Pro clocks out at seven hours and 34 minutes with the best 0.22% per minute over there, matching that of the OnePlus, but not the best milliamps per minute because it does have a much bigger battery over there. We're gonna move on to the eight hour mark over here, the eight hour checkpoint. We have 21% on the K30 Pro Zoom Edition, 5% on the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro, 3% on the X50 Pro, and the Oppo Ace 2 is just not letting go with 1% left. Let's see how it does in the next couple of minutes to see if it can still trade blows with the other four devices still on the table. Lasting an extra 10 minutes, the Oppo Ace 2 knocks out after eight hours and 10 minutes with the best milliamp hours per minute, just eight milliamp hours per minute of drain, and the X50 Pro knocks out just five minutes after it at eight hours and 15 minutes with the best percentage per minute, but not the best milliamp hours per minute that is still awarded to the Oppo Ace 2. Eight hours and 25 minutes over here, the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro clocks out with the best percentage per minute, but once again, milliamp hours per minute is still awarded to the Oppo Ace 2. We have 14% of battery still left after eight hours and 30 minutes on the K30 Pro Zoom Edition, but with quite a high CPU and battery degree Celsius at the moment. Rocking 8K video over there for a bit, jumping down to subway surfers, and we're just gonna keep doing a whole bunch of looped apps that we have already done, including benchmarks over here to see how long this phone can last. After nine hours, we still have 5% on the K30 Pro Zoom Edition. The longest lasting phone I have ever had on a drain test on my channel has been the Lenovo Z6 Pro with a small 4000 mAh battery but it lasted 9 hours and 2 minutes. The K30 Pro Zoom Edition has surpassed that now with over 9 hours and 20 minutes and it clocks out at 9 hours and 29 minutes. If you're not impressed with that then I don't know guys that is ridiculously impressive. Has the best percentage per minute over there but the best milliamp hours per minute of drain is just 8 milliamp hours awarded to the Oppo Ace 2. That is seriously incredible. In 10th place, we have the Red Magic 5G, 144 hertz AMOLED panel, six hours and 26 minutes. Not bad for such a monster gaming phone with an internal fan. We have ninth place, the Oppo Find X2 Pro here. Not far after the Red Magic 5G with six hours and 42 minutes. Also a high 120 hertz refresh rate panel there. Eighth place with an IPS LCD screen. I honestly expected this guy to die at first, but lasted seven hours and nine minutes. That is very impressive. Good on you, IQ Neo 3 with 144 hertz refresh rate panel. Seventh place, the S20 Ultra, still incredible battery life over here. I have the Snapdragon 865 variant of the phone. Seven hours and 16 minutes. I'm really impressed with that too. The OnePlus 8 Pro, sixth place, definitely beating the Samsung because it has a smaller battery. Seven hours and 29 minutes here with that wonderful 120 hertz AMOLED panel. The Black Shark 3 Pro is in fifth place with seven hours and 34 minutes. The previous three phones also clocked out pretty similarly in time to the Black Shark 3 Pro with such a massive screen screen. Fourth place, the Oppo Ace 2. I am very impressed with this. I must say the most impressed. It honestly deserves first place of year. 8 hours and 10 minutes with just a 4000 milliamp hour battery. Third place, another small battery, 4200 milliamp hour battery. The Realme X50 Pro gets 8 hours and 15 minutes. Seriously, seriously great battery life, if you ask me. Second place, the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro with 8 hours and 25 minutes of battery life. One of the longest lasting phones I have ever experienced. And I can say that from general day to day use too. The Redmi K30 Pro Zoom Edition takes the crown here though with 9 hours and 29 minutes of screen on time, though we are lacking that high refresh rate panel. And if all the devices had the same battery capacity of 4,500 milliamp hours, the Black Shark 3 Pro would dip down three places to eighth place, and the Oppo Ace 2 would jump up three places to first place with nine hours and 11 minutes, surpassing so that of the K30 Pro Zoom Edition. If it had a smaller 4,500 milliamp hour cell, it would drop down to second place with nine hours and four minutes. Feel free to hit pause here for more information on what they would be like with the same battery capacity, and check the results down below for more details on that. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it and until next time this is Technic.